Well, live look at Spirit Mountain tonight. Skiers from all across the nation are in Duluth to hit the slopes for the 46th annual Atmore Memorial Ski Race there at Spirit Mountain. Now, last night looked a bit different there with rain making the slopes less than ideal. Leaders there are working hard to keep snow on the terrain, though. Northern News Now's Jack Wiedner shows us what the race looks like, especially given all that rain we had this week. Jack? Last night, the conditions at Spirit Mountain were less than ideal. But thanks to an overnight freeze and plenty of man-made snow, the Atmore Memorial Ski Race is in full swing. Team Duluth is welcoming athletes from coast to coast for the slalom ski event. And there are plenty of local faces as well. Will Spirit Mountain maintain enough snow for the Atmore? Racers say it was softer than they'd like. You got your whole foot stuck in some of those holes, and it was just fighting to the bottom, basically. Jaina and Rosalind have raced the Atmore once before. They're glad the weather in Duluth didn't stop out-of-state skiers from showing up. My favorite part of the Atmore is definitely meeting a bunch of the girls who come out from the Rockies. I agree. Everyone comes in for this race, and it's a super big event, even though it's kind of icky out right now. The Atmore is a qualifier for other, bigger races. Many skiers on Spirit Mountain are hoping to make the U.S. ski team or U.S. nationals, so there's a lot at stake in the coming days. With weekend highs right around freezing, skiers should be all set for the rest of their races. In Duluth, Jack Wiedner, Northern News Now. Windy up there at, to at the top of the hill. Thank you, Jack. The Atmore Memorial Ski Race is hosted by Team Duluth. It's a nonprofit that houses multiple teams under its namesake. The race began this morning and is going to wrap up on Sunday. The public is welcome to attend.